Hello and welcome. In today's video, we will play Island in the Sun by Weezer. Make sure that your ukulele is tuned so we can have a really good solid start. Special thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Enya, but more on them later. For today's song, you need four chords and these four chords repeat for the whole song. So that's E minor, A minor, D, and G. And you can already just do it with down strums. So if you're more, more of a beginner, focus on just strumming when the chord is on top of a word or a space. Just do that and you're going to improve so much. Now, if you're a little bit more advanced or want the challenge, let's learn the strumming. Each chord has its own little strumming part. So E minor is a down, down, up. A minor is down, down. D is up, up, down, up. And G is down, down. Let me play it one time through so that you can get it in your ear. Look up, okay? Look up for this so you can see it. Now there's some secrets hidden in the strumming pattern that make it sound unique and different. So let me tell you the secrets now. On that down, down on the E minor, I open my hand when I'm doing the up strum because that allows me to jump to the A minor. So I'm doing down, down, and on that hop, I'm just strumming the ukulele open. Look. So I'm gonna do it again. And it's kind of one of those things that um, if you don't hear it explained, sometimes you miss it. So that's happening on the switch from E minor to A minor, and then on D, up, up, down. That last up is also open ukulele, so it gives me time to switch to the G. And I'm not trying to make this more confusing. I'm just saying that if you need to open your hand to go to a chord switch, open your hand and go to the chord switch, just keep the hand strumming. So again, the whole pattern is one, two, ready, and down, down, down. pause the video here I'm gonna put a screen with everything on like on the computer here or on the video so that uh, you can pause and practice once you're ready let's add some words okay so now let's try and put the words the strumming the chords together if you're more advanced and you want a fancier strumming pattern I've added that for you at the end because I know I have my overachievers now for all of us normal people we're just gonna go slow and add the words one, two, oh, one, two, ready, go. So we did our intro with the word hip hip. So now let's try and do the verse. One, two, you can do it. One, two, ready, go. All right, so 
now you know everything you need to know to play this whole song. It literally repeats on those four chords. So let's learn the more advanced strumming pattern. But first, I want to give a special thanks to my Patreon members. My Patreon members are what support this channel, what keep it going, and what they've made it possible for me to be a teacher here on YouTube. So if you'd like to join the community, be a part of our live Zoom lessons, and also get the printable for this and all the other songs that I have, uh, join the Patreon community. And uh, yeah, it's really fun over there. It'll be fun to get to know you too. Okay, so let's learn the advanced strumming pattern. And for that, we're gonna do a down chuck up, down chuck up, and then down chuck, up, up, chuck, up, down, chuck. So let's hear it first. So in very, very basic terms, this song has like a feel of four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So what you're doing with your chuck is you're adding that um, beats two and four. One, two, three, four. Because that's when an audience would be clapping if they were listening to you playing, or that's when like the snare drum would be hit in the drum set. So listen this time and think about it as a clapping rhythm or clapping moment. We've added the moment for a clap. of today's video and your music this is a brand that reached out to me when i had like 5,000 subscribers and they sent some ukuleles that in my eyes were like the best ukuleles i had played i was surprised at the quality and and yeah and i both kind of grew together at the same time and now they have so many models of ukuleles at the time they were like a really great affordable option on amazon that included the gig bag the straps the like rhythm shaker and all of these awesome things like re like replacement strings and the microfiber cleaning cloth but now they're a brand that has evolved to also include higher end models they still continue doing the affordable ones which is awesome but they have higher end models as well that are more deluxe and really beautiful. I'm going to be reviewing the Taimane Signature ukulele soon, so I'm really excited for that. But this one, for example, is one of their more affordable models. It's a carbon fiber composite ukulele with a cutaway, and it has uh, pre-installed strap buttons and the side sound hole so that when you're playing, you can hear it. And uh, the fret markers on the side and the front and then this package comes with a case that is made to fit like a glove around the instrument. These Nova Ukes come in different colors and the case, the strap, and the cable that they come with match. When uh, you buy one of these, so far when I hear from people, they're really excited and really happy and they love that they can travel with it because since it's a carbon fiber instrument, it's not gonna be as reactive to weather changes. You know, like other woods, they expand and contract and, um, and something like really severe, maybe severe weather or exposure to too much moisture or not enough can warp your instrument. But when it's carbon fiber, you don't have to worry about that. It's also a great option for children and uh, for classrooms. I love having some of these in my classroom. So yeah, check them out. They're going to be linked down below. All right, before the sun sets even more and I lose more lighting, I'm going to close this off. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.